Okay guys, so I got called out to the dealership again for 2014 Honda CRV. They said the fuel pump doesn't turn on. They can jump to the fuel pump and it turns on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna check, uh, well I guess I gotta hook the battery up. And then we're gonna check to see if we have powered the fuel pump. And we'll check the fuse. They said if they jump or the fuel pump, like it'll turn on. So I'm gonna hook this stuff up and we'll go from there. Okay guys, so they had the back seat apart. So I hooked my test light up. We got the, we're hooked up to the green wire and the black wire. Green is the power feed from the fuse, which comes from the PCM or the, what is it? Whatever the relay is called, the PGI relay or whatever Honda calls it. So I'm gonna crank the car and we'll see if it lights up. So, we have no power back here. So I'm gonna bring up a diagram. We'll see if we can find this. So guys, I was looking underneath the hood for this Fuse 4, but then I realized it said under dash. So I came under here and look at that 15, it looks melted. Now, if we touch our test light on here, looks like it works. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me zoom out so you guys can see better. So, looks like it works, but I'm gonna pull it out because it looks all melted. You can see it right there. Crazy. Wonder if that's our issue, just a melted fuse. But then it might have damaged the terminal. Okay guys, I got the fuse out. It's not the problem, but I wanted to get it out because look how damaged that is. Just wanted to make sure that we weren't making like a bad contact. And the fuse is actually split open. Let's see if we can zoom in here. Maybe. See the casing split open a little bit there. So I grabbed another one out of this other fuse box that they have here, put it in, and now it tests good. So now I'm gonna go, we're gonna check this, uh, what's it called, the uh, PGFI fuse, or relay. This main relay that says it's in our hood fuse box. So we're gonna go after that one and we'll test it, or well, we'll do a bypass test on it and we'll see if our fuel pump turns on. Okay guys, so our issue right now is I probed the connector up here. It's kind of hard to see, but I back probed the connector. Blue is our pow power and feed coming out of the rea, like the, like the power side of the relay. The yellow is the control side. So our issue is we don't have, it's not being, grounded. Let's see if I can do this. Probably can't do this one-handed. Get the keys on. So if I touch this, should touch. There you go. You hear it click? It's turning the fuel pump on when I do that. So our issue is, and my test light in the back lights up. My other bulb was blown, I didn't even realize it. Must have blew right when I did this car or something. So uh, it's this red, red wire that goes to the PCM. So we're gonna have to get to the PCM and we'll have to see if the wire is damaged there. That's our control side. But it's getting kind of involved here. So guys, here's my test light for the fuel pump. Here's the relay. I'm just gonna touch this. Maybe. Let's see. There you go, see the lights on? Take it off, it goes out. So I think I'm just gonna go to the PCM because I can't find an easy way to test this. And we'll just go to the PCM. PCM's next to the fuse box. And we'll go to this pin down here. Pin A40. And we'll see if we have a ground coming out. So guys, I connected to the PCM. Uh, that's the red wire that goes to control the relay. And if I touch it with my test light, that's connected to ground. The fuel pump turns on. So our problem is either the PCM has a bad ground somewhere or PCM's bad. And I just found out that they jump started this backwards. They had another fuse that I think it was this one or that side was completely melted and they had soldered. 
So they might have fried the PCM. So I'm starting it backwards, and that's why this has tape on it. So I'm going to see what happens here after I test the grounds. I'm doing a system scan make sure there isn't like a anti-theft or something that's causing this. So guys, I came out here. I load tested all the blacks and then these two brown wires because they're ground. I just hooked them up to my headlight bulb and I touched them. I couldn't really get in there easily to test it while the car is on. But yeah, I'm calling a bad PCM on this there wasn't enough room to get in here with the PCM like it was just too big of a nightmare so with my headlight bulb on those wires and it getting so bright I doubt it could be a voltage drop enough to confer to uh, be a bad PCM because the car will start and run fine with no codes if you just jumper the if you just jumper the relay so I'm calling a bad PCM maybe they'll have me come out here and put one in guess we'll find out but hope you guys like it. Oh, and I also had hooked my Zeus up. I didn't show this, but I hooked my Zeus up and I had the yellow lead on power and the black lead go into the red wire and it wasn't even trying to ground it. So I'm pretty sure they fried the PCM. I wonder if we could open it. You know what? I think I'm gonna try to take these screws off the back and we'll open it and we'll see. Maybe we can fix it. Maybe it just burned up a trace. I'll be right back. Okay guys, so they want me to come back and put the PCM in. They said I can grab it out of that one over there. This place is interesting, guys. So look at this place. But uh, yeah, we're gonna, I guess, grab the PCM out of there. Gotta look, see if you can use a used PCM. I never, never programmed a Honda before, but I guess we'll find out. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it for this. Maybe I'll show reprogramming one. Confirm bad PCM. Hope you guys like it. See you later. So guys, I made a little jumper wire for them to start the car. Right here off the PCM, they can touch it right here or clamp it on and the car will run. And until I come back to program it, which will probably be in like a day or two.